In this tutorial, we will learn how to add captions to our images using Adobe Bridge or Photoshop. We'll also learn how to use Adobe Bridge to add captions to multiple images at the same time. We'll start by adding a caption to an image using Adobe Photoshop. We go up to the File menu, click and scroll down to File Info, or you can push the keyboard shortcut Option Shift Command I, and that will open the dialog box we'll use to add the caption to the photo. On the left here, make sure you have Basic selected and then simply put your cursor where it says description and type your caption. I like to type as much of my captions in the field as possible using the notes application on my iPhone. This way, especially when I'm on a tight deadline, I can simply copy and paste the caption right into the photo. Once you have your caption typed, click OK, and when you save the image, the caption will be automatically stored with it. We can also use Adobe Bridge to caption our images. One advantage to that is that we can add information to multiple images at the same time. For example, if we've shot an event where we know every sentence in the caption is going to end a certain way, we can add that information to all of the images at once, speeding up our workflow. Additionally, Bridge allows us to caption both RAW or JPEG files. It's important to remember, however, when we add our captions to our RAW files, that it's not actually stored in the RAW image itself, but in the XMP file. Adding basic information to all of your photos at once, for example, the location of an event, can greatly increase the speed of your workflow. We'll start by using Bridge to add a caption to a single image. Start by selecting the image you want to add a caption to. And just like Photoshop, we'll go up to the File menu and scroll down and click File Info. Or we can hit the keyboard shortcut Command-I to bring up the File Information dialog box. Remember to make sure that Basic is selected and that you're going to add your caption to the box marked Description. I'm just going to paste a caption in so we don't have to listen to me type, and as soon as I hit OK, the caption will now be added to the image. We can check that again by going up and hitting Command-I, and we can see that the caption is still in the box. It may not seem like much of a time saver when you're only working with a few images, but adding caption information to multiple images at once is a big time saver for professionals who may be sending dozens of images from a news event. Imagine having to type the sentence, According to CAL FIRE, as of Tuesday, the Mendocino Complex fire, comprised of the river and ranch fires burning in Lake and Mendocino counties in Northern California, had burned 201,471 acres and is 34% contained. If you had to type that into 60 images individually, that would really start to add up. We'll look at how we can add that to all of our images at one time. Adding captions to multiple images and bridge is essentially the same as adding a caption to one image. The main difference is that we need to select all the images we want to add the caption information to. I'm going to select all of these images by pushing Command-A, and just like I did when I added the caption to one image, I'm going to hit Command-I to open up the file information box, place my cursor in the description box, and hit Command-V to paste my caption in. I'm going to hit OK, and now all of those images have a caption associated with them. All of these images were from the Mendocino Complex fire and therefore needed to have all of the same information about the size of the fire on that particular day. Now I can use Adobe Bridge to enter the caption information that is specific to the different images in the set. In this case, I want to add information to an image of Los Angeles County firefighter Zach Kling, who was monitoring a burn operation. With the image selected, I hit Command-I, and I'll add the pertinent information to the dialog box. I'm going to place my cursor in the description box, hit Command-V to paste in the information about the individual firefighter, and then I'm going to hit Return because this is actually a two-paragraph caption. So now I hit OK and my caption is saved. The final step is to go through and add individual information to each specific image.